hey youtube welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be sharing the process of how i achieved getting a luxury car at the age of 20 years old honestly i'm doing this video because in this generation there's a lot of the younger population who have really nice things so i know it's goals for a lot of the younger people coming up and even some people who are older than me who just want to upgrade something in their life like feel like it's time for an upgrade or they worked hard enough but they just don't know how to go about it i was blessed to get something very nice at a young age and i figured like why not share the secret or the process you know it's 2023 we all gotta eat we all want to be you know chilling day chilling so i drive a c300 coupe mercedes benz and i'm gonna show y'all my car and some features that i really like inside of my car and then we're gonna go inside and get into the process all right y'all so i hope y'all enjoyed my little car video that i put together and i hope y'all like the car as much as i do her name is diamond and yeah me and diamond go together real bad we locked in but anyways so let's get into how i achieved getting this car the first thing i did was give myself a reason on why i want this thing like this expensive item why do i want this because if you don't have a reason why then you kind of slack on your goals you kind of you know you're not you're not you're not as hard down as you need to be to make sure you're getting where you're getting so for me personally my reasoning for wanting my car was because um 18 i joined the military and honestly it was super challenging for me mentally and physically and i honestly didn't think i was going to make it as far as i did the time and as far as i came now so that was a gift to me for proving myself wrong for pushing through it and yeah so that is what kept me on track like hey you can do this you know once you do this like once you set that goal for yourself that two-year goal then reward yourself like it's okay to reward yourself y'all y'all work hard get the things you want so now that we got that out the way let's get into you know finances and all that you need to save your money i'm just gonna be real i'm not gonna sugarcoat you need to save your money i took 12 months to save as much money as possible what i did was i saved 500 dollars every two weeks for 12 months and that brought me out to twelve thousand dollars now make sure you are saving what's comfortable for your budget $500 was comfortable for me for every two weeks at the time in order for me to still continue to pay my other bills. You never want to put yourself in a financial situation while you're trying to save for something, you know. Just go at your own pace, go at your own time. Also, any extra money that I accumulated, I would add to that savings pot. So any income taxes, FAFSA, like just any little money that I had, I would just go ahead and throw it in my savings for that. And then I came out with $15,000 in 12 months it did help me to make a budgeting plan i like to budget on with pen and paper you know old-fashioned way i write down all my bills out what i'm gonna have left what i can you know i have to visually see it. i'm a visual person so i'm a visual person wow yeah just do whatever kind of budgeting you like to do and just make sure that you you know are good after you put your money in your savings moving on to step number two you need to have a credit score I'm sorry, if you are going for a luxury car, when you walk in and they see your ID and they see your age, you know, it automatically raises red flags. Like nine times out of 10, they don't want to give it to you because they're just not sure if you can make the payments or not, or if you're responsible enough. The best way to make them shut up and just give you what you want is to make sure you come in there with A1 credit. When I decided I wanted to go get a luxury car, I had zero credit, literally zilch, nothing, nada. And that was a big problem for me because you know like i said they are looking for something to make you feel trustworthy but what i did was i opened a small credit card once i opened a small credit card account that gave me a line of credit and it started my credit history i'm sorry y'all i'm looking down my phone because i have like my notes right here in order to build your credit up you need as many on-time payments as possible so my advice would to be things like a phone bill if you don't have a phone bill in your name already like if you're under your parents get that in your own name because that reports to credit that will also open up a credit line for you um, people who have houses you can request for your lights your water and your rent to be reported to your credit report because if you don't request it then they will not do it and you're just paying those bills on time over and over and over when that could be going towards um, some type of credit for you so even if you live at home ask your mother hey 
can I get this light bill in my name or can I get the water bill in my name, you know, and that will build your credit up. They can see some type of payments. So once I got that, I paid on my credit card for a 12 month period. For 12 months, I had to make a hasty decision. It was either try to go get my car now with okay credit or get a starter car and then wait a while so that when I go in there, it's guaranteed for sure. You know, some people want their things right in there and you know, some people are a little bit more patient and I had to learn patience because I did want my car, but I also didn't want to be turned up because I hate being denied. Um, what I did was I got a starter car. I got a 2023 Hyundai Elantra. No, 23, 2023 Hyundai Tucson. So I got a 2023 Hyundai Tucson and I financed that car through my bank, Navy Federal. I always suggest financing through your bank if you have a credit union, just because um, you can build that trust with them and they will offer you out more of your loans for anything, whether you want to do businesses in the future or anything, like just getting in good with a good credit union is great. So like I said, I got financed my car through Navy Federal. I paid on that car for about six months and then I sold it. I sold it for more than what I owed which was very important because I got extra money that I could put towards my savings now and I could put towards the vehicle, the new vehicle. So I sold it for more than what it was worth, paid that off. So that looked even better on my credit because now I have it showing that I paid off the entire vehicle. So once I did that, I then got my vehicle. I went and I got my vehicle and I put about, I think I put 3000 down. I don't suggest putting too much money down because it knocks a little bit off your payment, but not that much, honestly. So just, you don't have to. I did just because it was the extra from the vehicle that I wasn't expecting, but got anyways. So I put that towards the vehicle. I also got my newer car through my bank, Navy Federal. I suggest getting cars through your bank also because once you go there with a check, it stops the dealership from trying to run your credit so many times. Like you don't want bad reports in your credit so it'll just go down and down, negative reports. So when you come in with a check, they have no reason to run your credit more than once. So that's, that's a tip that you should keep in mind. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna do a quick recap of all the steps to getting your luxury car. Step number one, have a goal, set a goal, have a reason why you wanna get the thing you wanna get. Step number two, save your money, save your money, save your money, and budget. And step number three, last but not least, establish your credit. Do not go in no super dealership with no credit because you will be denied. I hope y'all learned something from this video and I hope it helps someone who felt like they were stuck in a place. If y'all have more questions, you can always comment down below and I will be glad to help. And if y'all want me to make a different video about um, buying a car, I will do that for sure but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i really appreciate you guys watching my video peace